show you how to convert a open bow ski boat into a fishing platform ready to go fishing with their trolling motor. This uh, particular setup is all portable. In other words, I can take it all out. I can convert it back into an open bow ski boat by taking out the platform and uh, putting back in the seats and you're good to go for water skiing or wakeboarding or whatever your pleasure is. So first off, I wanted to show you how I did the casting deck. This is just a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood and uh, it has been routed with the carpet overlay and stapled on the bottom. First you want to get yourself a large piece of cardboard and do a template and then convert the template uh, into the wood platform itself. I routed the edges and you could use just uh, a bit on the end of your drill that will simulate a router and uh, route the top and bottom of the sides and then sand it down. I had a uh, mouse sander that I used to make sure that everything was nice and smooth before I put the carpet on and like I said stretch out the marine gray carpet and tack it on the bottom with a staple gun. I ended up with a pedestal that was 13 inches and it wasn't long enough so I went ahead and ordered a 16 inch pedestal for this particular boat and it uh, seems to be working out well. As you can see this particular model uh, Minn Kota Power Drive V2 has the foot pedal which uh, you know I, I like however it does have the capability of converting this into a wireless remote so that's a, a nice thing if, uh, in the future so I just wanted to quickly show you how I ended up putting the trolling motor on which was not real easy First off, I just wanted to let you know that I ended up having a metal plate uh, made up. It was 11 inches uh, long and 5 inches wide. And I ended up using actually some real thick double, actually doubled it up, um, gutter material and to give it some extra strength for the hole. Uh, very concerned about uh, the amount of leverage and uh, concerning of uh, the fiberglass itself. So it's very important to beef up underneath as much as possible before doing this application. Now the seat itself comes off there's three screws in the middle slot that you have to take out, which is a Phillips head screwdriver. There's two holes behind that seat cushion, uh, six inch holes for easy access so that you can through bolt. I also use the L bracket underneath, as you can see, and that's also through bolted. And I use uh, nylon washers uh, and spacers I should say and also uh, rubber spacers and as you can see here there, everything's through bolted and into that metal plate inside. I also put on a quick release bracket that is available by Minn Kota and I'll show you what the box looks like it's a quick release bracket which I wanted so that I could take the trolling motor off anytime I wanted to just slides off the whole motor comes off um, and then the bracket stays on Now you could use this 
You could use a piece of wood as your platform. I went ahead and bought a polyurethane cutting board that it looked a little nicer. And also, just to let you know, they do have a lock um, opening there so you can actually put a, a lock on and I did that right, right there. So you can lock on the motor onto the quick release bracket. So hopefully this helps out a little bit if you're planning on installing uh, this style of uh, bracket onto your open bow ski boat. I know uh, Tahoe Boats has been doing this for years and it's a, a little more detailed with the plug-ins and everything but like I said I just wanted everything to be quick release and be able to pull it out and convert this back to original ski boat because it seems to have done the trick. Okay, that's it.